The finished our project is progressing at a rapid pace. I would like to introduce our first presenter, uh, Andre Schreiner, Edge Product Manager from the Thinedge.io team, who's going to provide a preview of the new features and updates to Thinedge.io that will shortly be available in release 0 to 8. Andre, over to you. Thank you, Phil. So, yeah, and also welcome from my side. Um, in the next 10 minutes, I will share, as Phil mentioned, the highlights of the planned uh, 0.8 release of Thinedge.io. Um, so, but before I do that, uh, let's start with the obligatory recap of the project for the ones who might be very new to the project and the community. So with Thinedge.io, we want to make uh, IoT device enablement easy and at the same time without creating any ecosystem of platform lock-in. So to achieve this, we are building a modular lightweight IoT device framework. That's why we call it THIN, as a foundation for your IoT project. So it can be deployed on resource-constrained devices such as PLC or protocol gateways um, and allows out-of-the-box connectivity and most importantly, the device management uh, functionalities for uh, the specific device without relying on a specific IoT or cloud platform. And to achieve our mission, we joined forces with partner companies from the industry or industrial automation space. Um, and we are welcoming also new partners and individual contributors to collaborate with us. Now, most of you know this, but when developing ThinEdge.io, we focus on a set of key, principle, uh, key principles, which are freedom of choice for languages, message payloads, and platforms that can be used with it, a comprehensive and extensible device management feature set with plugin mechanisms uh, to support things like software management, firmware management, and configuration management, and being modular and efficient in terms of resource consumption on the device is one of the uh, other important aspects. So all in all, ThinEdge.io offers a unique approach to unify the needs both of the IT but also on the operation technology world by offering a platform design focused on efficiency, robustness, security, while uh, offering the highest level of extensibility. And we are, of course, again, not restricting users towards one specific uh, software artifact package manager or uh, programming language. Now let's take a very quick look on where the project is today and what is available today in terms of functionality. Let's start quickly with the um, our MQTT interface, which we use for both cloud and internal communication. And um, um, here we are uh, using um, an MQTT broker to simplify the uh, interoperation and uh, communication between the different components. And we also use uh, optional uh, ThinEdge uh, JSON MQTT payload uh, that can be used to uh, send uh, telemetry data to the various IoT platforms. We, uh, and I will talk about it later on, we also focused a lot on the support of downstream or child devices, um, which is really important because in most cases, ThinEdge is used as a gateway device uh, to connect to uh, field bus protocols, to connect to industrial assets and machines. Now, Regarding cloud connectivity, today uh, we support Cumulosity IT, Azure IT, and we also will see today a first preview of an AWS IoT integration, um, all with uh, a device certificate as an authentication mechanism. And now to the um, central uh, feature set, which is uh, always the focus for us, uh, which is the device management aspect. So things like uh, having the ability of monitoring the device and its services, doing software management from IoT platforms or for device management platforms, and handling different types of uh, package types and software artifacts is a key focus of the project, including aspects like configuration management. I will go later into more detail. On the usability of ThinHIO, uh, we included a command line interface to with a couple of commands uh, control the behavior of ThinEdge operated and do things like connecting it to an IoT platform. On the left, left side, one very important aspect is that we are open to integrations and extensions of ThinEdge IO through either uh, components that you want to build or existing components and frameworks and open source projects that are already there in the uh, IoT space. 
And for that, we specifically also created an examples repository on GitHub where you can check out um, a lot of the examples that we will also see today. Now let's come to the uh, uh, 0 0.8 release. Uh, I will give you a little bit of a preview of what we are currently working on and what will be available in the next release. So um, here I want to open up with some typical use cases we see in our um, early adopters using ThinEdge uh, currently. So often um, um, those users have uh, ThinEdge running on PLCs or industrial gateways. Here ThinEdge is a gateway for downstream or what we call child devices, which means this can be physical devices that are connected to, to ThinEdge or virtual devices like simulators or protocol drivers. And in previous releases, we already have implemented a, a basic support for exchanging measurements and telemetry from those devices and pushing them up to the IoT platform. And now we continue to focus uh, on that and offering more functionalities around child devices. So one important aspect is the handling of events and alarms, meaning if you have a PLC or machine component that is connected to ThinEdge, which already can generate alarms, for example, those can be then sent directly to your preferred cloud or IT platform. But also you can do data pre-processing of a sensor value, for example, on the ThinEdge itself, generate an alarm and then assign that alarm to the specific child device. It all works by picking the right MQTT topic and payload format. The other important aspect is the configuration management aspect. So what is configuration management? In our definition, child devices, a thin edge itself as well, might need to be configured like network configurations, or maybe you have a data mapping that you need to do and it's all exposed in a configuration file. Um, maybe you want to configure a specific field bus protocol. You do the mapping between a Modbus register and um, a measurement. And for this, you have uh, multiple configuration files usually located on the device, on the ThinEdge device, which need to be remotely modified from an IoT or cloud platform. Um, either you can use UIs for that or whatever the IoT platform vendor offers. And for that, we implemented and we're working on a generic functionality on how to do that. So configuration management for child devices um, that then can be used in, uh, and integrated with clouds. And for the next release, we're working on a generic support on the ThinEdge side and a reference implementation with uh, the Cumulosity device management functionality. Some other things that we worked on, which uh, help especially developers who extend or customize ThinEdge, are things like uh, cleaning up the ThinEdge artifacts if you, you know, do experiments with it. Um, so we introduced a cleanup script, which allows to either delete ThinEdge components while keeping the configuration files for the next time when you want to re uh, reinstall it, or a purge uh, command to delete all the elements, inclu including the configuration files. Um, just something that is very useful uh, for, for the development. And last but not least, um, we also further enhance the service monitoring options um, via MQTT, which is very useful if you plan to extend and add new logic to ThinEdge. You might want to uh, use the health endpoints for the ThinEdge plugin extensions, which allow you to check uh, the state of a ThinEdge service and you know, uh, build your logic uh, on top of that information. Now, um, as Phil mentioned today, you will see a lot of exciting demos, and I also wanted to highlight those partner and community contributions as they're really important for the project. So in many IoT projects, and that's what I want to highlight first, and we will see that today, uh, um, uh, vendors prefer to build custom Linux images for their devices, for their IoT devices. And for this, they often use the Yocto project, which is a, a Linux Foundation project to make sure um, that ThinEdge I.O. can also run and be part of those custom images. Our partner uh, Inetum um, have created an example integration of ThinEdge I.O. Uh, with Yocto, so you can create your own custom Linux build with Yocto with ThinEdge I.O. included. We will see that later on. And then um, another aspect uh, I wanted to highlight is, uh, yeah, we always stress that being cloud agnostic is a key focus for ThinEdge I.O. Therefore, not only the uh, components on the device need to be independent from any cloud vendor, but also we need uh, more mappers and integrations with other IoT platforms than we have today. And today uh, we will finally see an example on uh, integration with AWS IoT from our partner, Consult Red, something that I really look forward to. 
And uh, then, uh, and this will be more in the beginning, one of the most exciting use case for ThinHIU is the Softrage ERA Championship, an electric racing series where ThinHIU is used in the racing car. So really exciting and cool stuff uh, to push valuable data in real time during a race so the teams can make better decisions and pick the right strategy. I mean, something really cool. Uh, looking forward to that. And I also wanted to mention another contribution, another example, uh, which we'll not see today, but you can explore and try it out yourself on the uh, GitHub examples repository. Um, so it's a Cumulosity service monitoring feature with an integration um, uh, uh, based on ThinEdge, uh, which uh, our software AG colleague Murad Bayram has uh, contributed. And uh, that's uh, um, useful functionality if you want to uh, have a nice user interface uh, in Cumulosity IT to make sure that all the ThinEdge services and maybe other services that you want to monitor are running um, and, and check the state of them. So all of this is in the examples repo. And um, yeah, if you want to get started, explore some of that functionality or deep dive into the project. Of course, uh, our GitHub uh, is the first uh, point uh, here. And uh, to find tutorials, instructions on how to use ThinEdge, how to install it on your device, you can check out our documentation um, on, on the website. Now, last but not least, to end, um, yeah, we work with various partners already and we try to grow the list. So if you believe in the idea behind ThinEdge, no matter if you want to use or contribute to it, uh, to it reach out uh, to us uh, either by email or Discord, and we can uh, discuss how to best collaborate. Um, and uh, we also work with different partnership models. So um, contribution is, is, is a good thing, but not a must have to also support the project. Uh, thank you and back to Phil um, for the other sessions.